Hey guys, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. All right, and uh, this time we're gonna finish off. We're gonna finish off casting the wrong spell. Wow. Uh, we're gonna have to cast move on this rock in order to push it down, so we can move uh, this log into the water in order to uh, get over that tree stump on the right to hit it with force, so we can move on. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna be finishing off more, more, yeah, more. Mogal Forest in this episode, as well as uh, getting to the next town. So there we go. Ugh. All right, now this this puzzle right here can be a little bit difficult if you go the wrong way at first. Uh, yeah, this actually took me a couple tries too. It didn't take me a couple tries; it just took me a little bit longer. You know what? No, never mind. Forget what I just said. This is easy. <laughs> it's that easy. It's actually one of the easiest puzzles in this place. Why did I think it was hard at first? Okay, uh, yep, there's another green ape right here. He will lead us downwards. So let's go downwards. Alright. And, uh, this is the last screen in the area. And, uh, that's the last tree trump in the area, and there are noises coming from it. Alright, let's cast force on it. That did nothing. I guess we can just leave then. Wait, what? Uh, what? Join Killer Ape! Uh, this is the Killer Ape, kind of a mini-boss. It's not really that difficult. He's not really that difficult of a boss. Uh, anyway, he has 1,000 health, and, uh, he's quite strong. And I don't mean strong as in a tough boss, I mean strong as in, like, his attacks do a lot of damage. Uh, once again, it's really helpful to have, like, a, a designated healer, at least one designated healer for this fight. Uh, most likely Isaac, because his, he's actually, he goes a little bit faster. His, his, he actually goes fa yeah, he actually goes, uh, sooner than Mia does. Now, the thing to keep in mind about the, uh, about the Killer Ape is that despite his attacks are extremely powerful, most of them are single target. Actually, I think all of them are single targeting. So, all you gotta do is, uh, make sure you can maintain, uh, just, just, like, keep one designated healer and it should be enough to take this guy down. Also, only 1,000 health. He, he's not really that difficult. Yeah, see, Warcry, single hitting. I think he has his other attack called Ransack, which is a single targeting spell. Uh, and once again, we're using up buffs, and I think now is uh, the time. Oh, wait, no, now I have to. Wait, am I going to show off Ragnarok? No, I'm not. Not at the moment. Uh, but now we're actually going to show off. What we are going to show off is a new a new summon. When you have four Venus Jin on standby, you can summon Cybel. You'll be seeing him pretty soon. Uh, yeah, cast Cure on Isaac, and. Oh, this ransack right there. Yes, he looks 67 damage, pretty powerful, but it's single targeting. I know here's Cybell. It's a, it's some sort of turtle thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, in Dark Dawn, uh, they actually add a little bit more of that, making it feel like Cybell is like the person who summons. Cybell, it's kind of confusing. Ugh. Once again, look up the summons for Dark Dawn. They're pretty awesome. Okay, we're gonna have to heal up, uh, we're gonna heal up Mia right here. Wait, no, we're gonna heal up Garrett, because he's, uh, he's taking more of a beating at the moment. Yeah, this guy isn't that tough. Oh, and here's a cool little move right here, Ragnarok. 95 damage, although it is single targeting. <laughs> so there we go, once again, just keep uh, the damage under control, he shouldn't be that tough. Oh, and he's also pretty prone to status handlers. For example, now he's diluted right now, so if he ever does a normal attack... Uh, it'll be less likely to actually hurt us, or hit us, I mean. Ugh, so there we go. I, I also, I, you know, I, I actually, uh, figured out that right now that he's pretty prone to, uh, staff sandwich, and I wanted to try sleep on him, and apparently it works as well. So now, uh, the Killer Ape is both diluted and asleep. Yeah, he's pretty much, uh, he, he, it, <laughs> he's pretty much dead. <laughs> and, uh, Quick, we got a douse drop. Did you catch that? Yeah, in the text box down there it says we got an item called a douse drop, which is another one of those uh, sign energy learning items. Alright, so now we're past Mogal Forest here. Hey, I pronounced it correctly! Yay! Um, yeah, over to the left is nothing, but in here we have a uh, Zion, or Xi'an, or however you say it. I like Zion. Ugh. Like nothing in this building. Now, what you're actually gonna see here is uh, in one of the random battles, Mia actually died. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is, uh, whenever you see me like just run to random buildings, I'm going to be looking for the revival area. 
Oh, and uh, that little Mercury gin down there. Now, this is quite clever. This girl right here walking, she's actually carrying a pail of water. And when you talk to her, uh, she uh, she spills it by accident. What are you doing? You made me spill my water. Okay, and now this puddle of water, if we cat, yeah, see, Mia died. If we cast Frost on it, it'll turn into an ice pillar. And we can use this ice pillar to get to the gin. That's a clever puzzle right there. Ha. Huh. Oh, now I have to show off the level 4 Mercury uh, summon. And uh, we have the Mercury Gin Mist. I might as well give that to Mia, even though she can't really do much right now because she's dead. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so uh, where's the uh, where's the revival spot? Oh, it's that it's that little wooden door to the uh, to the left there. No, it's not that building. It's this building right here. Uh, once again, the song I I not what I mean once again the song that plays in the revival areas or the church or chapel or whatever this place is called. Uh, it's the music that's pl that plays on the uh, on the uh, screen when you uh, when you select uh, when you select which file you want to play. Once again, I'm just show that off. Like when I first played this game. On, on ROM, I, I actually noticed something quite interesting. Instead of taking you to this little screen in which you can select which file you want to play, instead it just starts the game automatically. Uh, I bought the original Golden Sun used, so I never got to see that. That was quite rare for me. Uh, maybe in the bonus video, if I ever bother to do one for this game, I'll show off the uh, I'll show off what happens if you were to load up. You, have, you already have a file. Um, if you already have a file. Uh, saying that we have Master Phase School, yeah. Uh, the <laughs> and now uh, let's cast Force on this trunk. How you? Uh, what? What? <laughs> you still is Master Phase busy? Do you still just see him? Look there, you see that line? If the tree falls, I'll take you to see Master Phase. Apparently, you need to talk to that guy in order to activate the cutscene. I mean, in order to knock this down, and activate the cutscene. And as you probably expect, just use Force on the log to knock it down. The warrior used chi. He did not. He did it from the line the tree fell. He knows kung fu. Do you know kung fu? No, I don't. It's called synergy. It's so unbelievable that someone who does not know kung fu can use chi. What is that girl to the left doing? She's like jumping and spitting. Yeah, what happened? The door opened on its own. I passed through that kind of fast. Fizzy, wait. Oh, this guy's gonna be fun to voice act. <laughs> Are you worried that you is late? Okay. He's only a little late in returning from Lama Temple. Do not worry. Something is wrong with Hugh. I sense it. I think that's how you say it, Hugh. Sue, maybe? Ah, Fizzy. Is your power again? Ever since gems fell from the sky and hit me, I had se I, se I had sensed bad things. You know, whenever I get hit on the head with stuff, I sense bad things as well. <laughs> You have told me already. I do not believe it, Fizzy. Fizzy, your visions are just coincidences. Fizzy, I think that's how you say it. My visions came true many times, no? I don't know, why don't you explain a couple of them? I had a vision about my- Oh wow, she actually is. <laughs> Ugh, she's- <laughs> Yes, your prediction came true, Fizzy. By Phase Z, it was very surprising. The flood in Altine. Did I not predict that too? We'll get to that later. We actually have to deal with that. All Phase's predictions came true. Even though we've only encountered like one of them. See, Father. I have heard this all. I was surprised too, but it is still a coincidence. Ah, see, so your daughter's a fortune teller. Just admit it. You still don't believe me. Zoo is late, so you worry too much. But do not think bad thoughts. I love this voice. You sent people to find Zoo, right? Zoo. Maybe that's how I'll say it. Stubborn old man. Ooh. What do you say, Vizzy? You should not speak to so to your elders. You, know, you don't look that old, man. <laughs> I will not ask anyone. I will go alone then. It is too dangerous. <laughs> Unless she predicts bad things about the road ahead as well. No duh, Sherlock, man. <laughs> I'm gonna call that NPC Sherlock. Or maybe not. 
Lizzie was very angry. She was frightening. <laughs> that happens when you're rushing. Sue is in danger. Danger. Fizzy is going to help. Ah. Fizzy knows kung fu. She'll be all right. Dude, you just said it was way too dangerous. Fizzy is alone. She cannot go too far. You just said she's gonna be all right. You're like contradicting yourself like eight times here. She will give up. She will give up soon enough. Until then, let her be. Huh? This log, the tree, it fell. What happened? It's a log, not a tree. <laughs> this warrior did it. He used chi. No, I use psi energy. Psi energy. Warrior, can you use chi? No. I use psi energy. Why can't you understand that? Can someone please come out of my body and tell him that? Warriors, you speak nonsense. You use chi. Do it again. Show me your chi, warrior. We'll show we'll impress this guy next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. Thanks for watching.